Gates Chile Spartans. This is Superintendent Christopher Daly with the April 24th update on the COVID-19 school closure. You'll recall last week, Governor Cuomo announced that all schools are to remain closed through May 15th. As we continue teaching and learning from home, I'd like to give a few important updates for the week. Yesterday, you should have received an email from Associate Superintendent for Instruction, Carol Stem. In that email, Mrs. Stem provided an update on instruction for the remainder of the school year. If you didn't receive the email, you can find it on gateschildlight.org slash coronavirus. Just click the At Home Learning button. Please read this letter carefully as it outlines the procedures the district will follow for the remainder of this school year. We also have an important update about parent guardian access to schoolwork. Gates Chile has been using Schoology, which provides course management, mobile learning, and communication. As we navigate this remote learning experience and beyond, we believe providing access to your student Schoology courses will offer you the ability to follow their learning more closely. That's why for the duration of the COVID-19 school closure, all teachers district-wide will be posting updates and assignments in Schoology. This will ensure a more consistent source of information and streamline the process for families with the multiple children in our district. Earlier today, you should have received an email from our Director of Technology, Troy Olin. In that email, you'll find details on how to create a parent Schoology account. That letter is also posted on gateschildlight.org slash coronavirus. Just click the School G button. This week, we began following a new schedule for our Spartan Eats bus meal delivery. The new schedule is as follows. At 11 a.m., Williams Tribute Apartments. 11.15 a.m., Poplar Garden Apartments. 11.30 a.m., Lions Park. And 12 p.m., Chai Lai Gardens Apartments. As always, if you need help accessing meals, please call our nutrition team at 247-7213. Now on to some great announcements. We learned that yesterday, Florence Brasser Elementary School has been named a recognition school for the 2019-20 school year by the New York State Education Department. Recognition schools are identified as such because they are among the top performing under New York's Every Student Succeeds Act plan. It emphasizes fostering equity in education. Congratulations to the staff and students at Brasser on a job well done. Finally, I'm pleased to announce the top 20 ranked seniors according to the weighted GPA. Congratulations to the following members of the class of 2020 in order of rank. Number one, Caitlin Weeks. Number two, Sarah Fernstein. Number three, Chelsea Papa. Number four, Sierra Bailey. Number five, Sanaya Kearns. Number six, Audrey Lamondola. Number seven, Alexa Crutchford. Number eight, James Schmidt. Number nine, Jillian Yates. Number 10, Julia Crocker. Number 11, Daniel Sarkis. Number 12, Anna Kwan. Number 13, Jacob Antonelli. Number 14, Jamie Hogenkamp. Number 15, Stacy Doe. Number 16, Samal Ekmeki. Number 17, Vanessa Nowicki. Number 18, Tuan Lee. Number 19, Michaela Perry. And number 20, Juliana Wolf. These students have worked for many years to earn this distinction, and we are very proud of their accomplishments. To learn more about this year's Top 20 Seniors, go to gateschildlight.org slash top20. As always, we will continue to communicate important information to you about our school closure every week via email, phone call, and on our website. Please continue to wash your hands, practice social distancing, and wear a mask if you must go out. That's all for this week, but before I go, I want to send a message of gratitude to our very own Vinny Candelari. Mr. Candelari enlisted in the New York Army National Guard and left this week to complete his basic training. Mr. Candelari, we thank you for your service. Now I leave you with just a few smiling faces that we miss so much. Go Spartans!